Hey YouTube, welcome to another video tutorial. So uh, we're gonna go over how we can import a new cluster into our existing Vertica management console. So let's say you have a management console already installed and you're managing a couple of uh, Vertica clusters and you just got a new client or you just install a dev version of your actual uh, Vertica database and you wanna manage more than one uh, database. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to provision database and you're going to cho choose the option import vertical cluster and you're going to provide it with the IP of your initiator node or let's say the node where you have installed, initially installed your cluster. It can be any other node as long as it's in that IP range. So what I normally do, I go into the admin config tools uh, in configuration and I check the IP address of that one so in my case is this one and he's gonna automatically pick it up another prerequisite is that you need to go into your installation and read the key from this file that sits in opt vertica config api keys copy that one paste it in the in the box that is required now you're going to provide it with an administrator account you can see the database is down the name of it it's analytics so if you check it says that you're supposed to deselect but in our case we don't have uh, we only have one in this uh, particular cluster and we're not going to use user MC admin if you check the database this base da down we're going to start a wrap we're going to start a database so he would be able to log in with those credentials that we're going to give it to him so this is a demo database that I use for this tutorial, it's a three node uh, cluster. Keep in mind that when adding a new database to monitor your clusters, that will put more pressure on your um, free, uh, management console, the um, repository. So probably your, uh, and this is what I'm feel. This is what I feel right now after adding a couple of clusters to my management console. The management console tends to be a bit laggy. So I guess you need to be aware of the resources you give to the node where you have the management console installed, or if you want, you can have it installed on, on a separate server of its own. Right, so the database is start. We can see the uh, database is up and running. Now we can give the user account that we want uh, the management console to log into our database to collect all the statistics information he requires for us to monitor it. It's gonna take probably a minute to uh, do all the work in the background. not a big thing all right so we have imported successfully all right then so we can see we got two clusters installed as you can see here name both of these clusters name are identical but you have to keep an eye on the IP addresses as you can see, uh, the name of the cluster gives it a, it gives it it gives it an, uh, a unique identifier, and as you can see, the CPU type is different from one to another. The versions are all similar, and let's look at it right now. You can see it shows us the host, and um, you can get some information about it, like the CPU count and the storage state. Also, let's see the database status. Right now, there's nothing running into it. This is pretty much a dummy empty database. Uh, you can see all the stats here. You can see all the settings. The basic stuff that you can get from the management console. This is the main view that you, when you log into your management console. So 
that's about it i hope you guys find it useful and um, if you have any questions please drop them back into my message box or give me a like if you like the channel or if you have any request feel free to shout it out